Hi, I've got an interesting question for you about dryer lint that comes from the filter in your clothes dryer. And the question is, why is it always this like dull, muddy grey colour? When you've got clothes of like you're washing all sorts of clothes of like many different countless colours. Why does it all always look grey like this? Well, it's an interesting question. There are all these white um, specks in here. These are just bits of paper that you know happen to have in my pocket. So just ignoring that, why is it so? Well, let's take a zoom in here. I've got the microscope and let's keep zooming in, zooming in, zooming in, zooming in. And look at this. You can see that's actually made up of all these little fibers of lots of different colors. Predominantly white, but look, there's blacks in there, there's blues, there's reds, there's yellows, there's like all sorts of different colors in there. It's just a whole mix of different colors and fiber types depending on the clothes that you're uh, drying. If I break this apart, for example, there you go, you can see all these different colors. There's a few other little things in there which could be anything, but Basically, um, dryer lint is just uh, fibers that have broken off the clothes that you're actually washing. And there are a ton of different colors in there, like very short, tiny fibers like that. So why does it appear gray like this at a distance? Well, it's fairly obvious. It's your eyes can't see those individual fibers so the light scattering off these uh, little tiny fibers it just all sort of uh, mushes together and appears as like this dull gray color to your eyes but it's actually not if you go in there it's made up of all these different colors now dryer lint is not always gray say for example you're a hotel or something like that and all you're washing is white sheets all day then yes your uh, dryer lint will actually be 100% white fibers and the color variation will matter like if you're drying lots of uh, denim blue denim jeans for example then you might get more of a bluish tint on this or if you're a you know like a Tom Scott shirt aficionado for example um, and then you um, might find that you'll have more of a pinkish tinge to it but most people are just going to have a general mix of, of different color fibers and when you mush them all together at that super fine resolution all appear just this dullish gray color. Hope you found that interesting. That's why dryer lint is mostly always a dull gray because your eyes just can't see the resolution.